I always love finding new things to do, to try. Um, I used to do martial arts. I've been to China, studied Tai Chi on a mountain with a master for three weeks. Being calm is very important when you're training dogs, so the Tai Chi is also very important. <laughs> That's great. I'm also a certified yoga instructor and um, aerobics instructor, so I've been doing that for 20 years as well. So my newest interest, which of course has branched into, it always comes back to working with dogs in some way, but it's come back to doing doggy fitness classes. So I now do doggy gym class. So um, so that's something that's new that that's just coming out right now that's becoming very popular. So my, my background as a human fitness and yoga instructor helps me train the dogs and uh, help owners you know, develop dogs that are not going to get injured in their sports. So, so my motivation to be to open my own company was um, about five years ago. I wanted to find a place that I could work with my own dogs and teach my own dogs because I have four dogs right now. They are all therapy dogs. Um, so we're out in the community doing doing things, and I didn't find anything that really fit my needs are the way I was seeing the science and with teaching and with learning. So I wanted to create my own. Um, and so now I've met a lot of people that have the same needs that I had with my dogs and they want to take their dog from puppy, well behaved, they want to make sure it's well behaved and they want to take it to do therapy work or do more advanced training. So um, I want to help those people meet their needs with their dog and, and achieve their goals. and have that relationship with their dog to be able to share them with other people. And then there are people too who have problems with their dogs and they're frustrated and they don't know what to do. And so um, I kind of see myself as helping keep harmony in the family because it's not always about the dog. You know, if the dog is causing problems, generally it's causing conflict in the family overall. You know, one person you know, it's really frustrated and one person wants to continue trying to work it out. And, and so they're fighting over the dog or arguing about the dog. So I can help build that harmony back by giving them the tools to be able to solve their problem, whatever it may be.